Hello and welcome to the Beetle Breeding Channel, day 10 of the Coriotus Regius project. We will um, feed the lorry and of course I will check some of them whether they have uh, uh, added more weight to their body. Um, temperature is 26, 27 degrees. At the moment it's very hot in Switzerland. Uh, I keep the glass, the glass jars in a spot where it's evenly warm during the day and the night, so that's around the perfect temperature, 26.5 uh, degrees. So the job, you know already a lot of, of these uh, tasks. So here we added three more pellets, so I will have a look at nothing in here. So I will check what the larva did here. Oh look, it's already very big. I mean not very, but if you compare it to the 2.35 uh, to 2.5 grams they had before, now they are really bigger. So this is now, oh, I forgot to put down the, the, the toro. So, now let's see how much. Now this lava is 3.55 grams, so the, the lava has added one more gram to the body weight. I will just put everything back to the glass jar like we had it and then also of course the larva and I will here at now start to give four pellets a day that's about one gram I know that's a lot of of, uh, of feed stuff for them small larvae but as you can see they eat a lot and you will see that in the other boxes also uh, we will we'll see that they have eaten most of the pellets. So this also, this was last time I added three pellets here. Seems to have some mycelium here in the edge of this bottle, of this uh, of this jar. You see the fine strings of this silky mycelium web. So that's a sign that somewhere a, a food pellet is hidden in the substrate, so I will take this out a little bit. Also, if we have a look at the, how many pellets we gave, we gave three, we gave uh, minus two, that's one, then two is three, and three is six, and three is nine. So we have, we gave until now, we gave on nine pellets. So, and what does the larva do? She's now, how much? She's now four gram. So she added uh, one and a half gram and that's um, uh, because nine pellets that's uh, 1.75 grams. So the, practically she gained the whole weight we added as feed pellets in the body weight. So that's the, that's the larva now. Four gram. I will put everything back to the to the glass jar. Of course, I will add the larva here that she can pick down into the substrate with four pellets. So now we start feeding really heavily, huh? With four pellets a day. That's that's a lot of feed. It's a one, actually it's one gram now that we add to feed them. Also here you see nothing, nothing in here. We, we, we don't take this out, we just put four pellets in. So it's nice to see that they grow and now here also, now this should be even bigger because we added three 
then we removed three and added one, so that's minus two, one, then three, six, ten. So here we added 2.5 grams of food pellets already. So let's see what the Lord was doing. We have to and um, we check the. So here's the larva. Three point eight grams. So she also gained some weight. And we put back the, the material to the glass jar. Yeah, that's really nice to see how they grow. steadily every day, every second day. Now we will add four pellets to feed them so that they, uh, they can really grow. Because they have to grow fast if they want to reach uh, 10 grams when they change to L3. So they have to eat a lot of this cat food pellets. Also here, nothing. To see, I add four, two, three, four. Also here, nothing to see. One, two, three, four. So now it goes a little faster. You can see that. And next time, probably in as soon as the etiquette here is filled with data, two more feeding, then we will change the substrate. So in about four days, we will ch change the substrate and check how many of the feed pellets have not been uh, eaten. So that's when we can know uh, how many of the feed pellets only were taken into the substrate but not actually eaten by the larva. One, two, three, four. I mean later on in the process when they are big you can add up to ten or more of these feed pellets per day. It means that we add two or three grams every day uh, in, in the form of this feed pellets. So that must be something also in the nature that they can find so much food then. So how much is it also here? Nothing to see. One, two, three, four. Here also we had minus 10 plus 2 so here we only put 2 because last time we put only 2 in here so I mostly I I check how many pellets they have eaten and I add the same amount or one more so here they have eaten 3 so I can he eat add 4 here And then sometimes if you see that they stop eating, they do not touch the pellets anymore, then you know exactly that they are now preparing for a mold. So that's interesting that you can see that with this feeding technique, whether they are approaching a mold when they just leave the pellets on top of the surface of this glass jar with peat and sand. Also here they have eaten Three pellets, so I give four. That's the whole job. So now we're practically through. Let's see whether we find one glass jar that they have eaten a lot here, for example. They have one, three, six, nine. Also, this here has eaten nine 
pellet so far. So let's see what the larva is doing. Yeah, it is also nice big Coriatus regius larva here. Let's see. Now it seems a little bit bigger. So this is already 5.9 grams. So that's nearly 6 grams. So this must be a larva that is eating already a lot of this uh, food pellets. So we will add, of course, here 4. You could also add 5 here. And let's uh, add 4 here. One, two, three, four, and five. We put five here. Seems really strong. Okay, so that's twenty six seven five grams. So we go on. Here we had to remove one and add two. So now it's eaten. It seems to. We put three. One, two, three. Three. Here, I forgot to write something last time. Nothing left, so we add four. Here also. One, two, three, four. Next here, we have to we add it. Two, so this one didn't grow very well, so let's check it whether it's still living. Yeah, it's alive and well. That's the lava in the sand. So they have gained weight. Every single larva is eating and is uh, growing and growing. That's a nice thing to see. Here I add three. One, two, three. So the two last. Well, uh, eat everything eaten here. We add four. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's it. Four, twenty-six, seven. Here, and last, last one. Also here, they have eaten out at three. And more feeding cycles. 26, 7, 3, two more feeding cycles, 1, 2, and then we change the substrate and then uh, we check the weight of all the larvas and we also uh, continue our, our bookkeeping of the weight gain. So that at, the, at the last we can make kind of like a curve and we will also have a ratio that we know about how many feed pellets we need to gain one gram in the weight of the larva. So that's for the moment, thanks for watching. Keep on uh, watching or subscribe to the channel if you like it so that you can see whenever I post a new uh, video. Should be in two days when I uh, start with the feeding in day 12. Thanks for watching.